what a lovely, lovely day. Absolutely glorious weather here as we welcome you to a football match of all significance. Great consequence in this part of the world. They've been talking about this one for a while and they have uh, rolled up to it in fantastic numbers. You should have seen the roads outside the ground in the hour or two leading up to it. It has been bumper to bumper. The traffic has been extraordinary. But the level of expectation is also very, very high. And uh, these supporters who uh, were queuing round the block for their tickets as soon as we knew the date of the fixture, well, now they can't wait for it to begin. And begin it will any second now. One glance and you know where we are. It is one of the most recognisable arenas for the beautiful game in the world. And boy, does it add to the occasion. So it's down to business here. Tony de Vilhena. Hoists it forward, gets it back. That's just very well played. He can't hurt you with his back to goal, and he didn't go for the back heel. Battles to win it back. The move that looked promising, but uh, eventually thwarted without doing any harm. Ball's gone out of play. Moves it over to the other flank, and it's Stocker. FC Basel have made it clear what they're trying to do for me, Peter. What are they trying to do? Well, I think they're making the pitch as big as possible to work both flanks into, into better supply routes. Tony de Vilhena did well to step in there. That was more than necessary. Krasnodar still without an attempt on target. Played towards the front men. Goalkeeper's ball. for a throw in. The goal now would certainly liven things up. Tries to get it forward quickly. Shot a goal! And it's played forward. The referee's had a look, and he's blown his whistle for half-time. So neither team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goalless. Any strong opinions on the first half? Yeah, and despite the scoreline, it's clear who the better side is when it comes to chances. If this is the trend that's going to continue, then... There's only going to be one winner here, and uh, I don't think it's going to take too much improvement for it to happen. Interesting half, just missing goals, so don't be surprised if the second half brings a change to the scoreline at the break. Nil-nil. And we're already back underway here. At least there's always a plus side to a scoreless half. Defences are doing what they should, and it's going to take good imagination to break the deadlock here.
Wolves report from an attacking perspective. Jim, it's a cagey old game. Yeah, I think it's a scoreline in keeping with what we've seen up to this point. Combined attempts at goal aren't high in numbers, and we could do with something to spark this contest into life. Some good work on the right flank. Now, what's next? Knocks it away. Shaka, forward it goes. Tony de Vilhena. Looking for a decent ball in. He's being closely tested here. Forward it goes. Krasnodar merit full marks for their attitude and application in trying to win this. It means an awful lot, obviously. Just five minutes remaining now. Look, their supporters must be going barmy about this because there's no sense of purpose in what we're seeing. And it's played forward. And it's the goalkeeper's to claim. And that's it. A frustrating game for attackers on either side. They hardly had a sniff. Defence is broadly in charge. And it has finished goalless. And after all of that, Jim.